Hello and welcome to RC Model Reviews again. Today I'm going to look at the Corona 2.4 GHz hack mod or hack module. This is a, a system you can use in your non module based radio control system to convert it from FM or PCM to 2.4 GHz. Today we're going to look at this transmitter, which is a JRX378. It's quite a common radio, uh, seven channels. Um, normally these come on 35, 36, 40 or 72 megahertz, but we're going to convert it to 2.4 using the Corona system. So let's have a look at how easy that is and what's involved. Okay, for a start, we have the uh, module here. When we look inside, there's a number of things. There's a, uh, a little antenna for the transmitter. It's a bag full of nuts and bolts. And here's the core of the thing. It's a circuit board that goes inside the transmitter and using these wires here, connects up to the uh, the logic board inside of the trainer port usually, and an antenna lead which will then allow you to mount the um, antenna on the outside of the radio. Also there's a little circuit board on here that has the bind button and the LED that shows you what mode you're in. So what we have to do now is open up this transmitter and have a look inside. Okay the first thing to do is remove the screws in the back of the transmitter. I've done that already and I've removed the battery so we'll tip it over on the front and we will pop the back off. Here we go, there's a, a battery lead that connects the back of the transmitter to the front. And once we get inside, we notice on this transmitter, all the old um, 35 or 72 megahertz stuff is on this board here in the middle. And we can actually remove that because that will no longer be necessary. So, so using my screwdriver, I, there are four screws that hold this board on. I've already taken two out. So we'll remove those, put them somewhere safe so we don't lose them. Not that we'll be needing them again. Then this board lifts up and there's a single little connection here that we can unplug to completely remove that. Put this away, we won't be needing it again. Now we have the transmitter without the old radio system. What we need to do now, according to the instructions that come with the DIY module, which I must say are barely satisfactory, says here that we should find the PPM signal line with an oscilloscope an oscillograph, which I guess that's Chinese for oscilloscope. You can see that I've made a little connector here which plugs into the same lead that used to go to the radio frequency board there. Effectively what I've done is I have taken one of these little connectors here, wired it to the hack module so that I can just plug this in and out to connect it up to the necessary voltage and signal pins that will enable the hack board to operate. Um, that's great because if we ever need to turn this transmitter back into a 35, 40, 72, whatever meg model, we can do that simply by replacing the board we took out, unplugging that and plugging it into here. So it's a reversible modification. As you can see, I've soldered the antenna wire onto the circuit board there, and now we can start installing stuff actually into the case. Now when I was testing this hack mod, I noticed something rather important. The RF output from the hack module seemed to be a little bit low, lower than I'd expect. So I had a closer look and I found that the cable which connects the hack module to the antenna was faulty. Yes, running a meter over it, the braid on the outside of the coaxial cable wasn't continuous from the, uh, the end that had been prepared for soldering to the connector itself. So I looked a bit further and just where the cable goes into the connector on this end, on the aerial end, it was broken. Now Someone else might not have noticed this. If you just put this together and tried it up, it worked on the bench, fine, no problems. And if you go flying, you may not have got the one and a half kilometers of range that Corona expects you to get out of the system. It could have cost you a model. It's a good product. When it works, it works wonderfully. But people don't want to play Russian roulette. They don't want to buy a product and hope that this one actually works because nobody's actually checked it, despite the little stickers. So there we are. The hack module's installed. I've bound some receivers to it. Um, and now we're going to go and fly it. Yeah. See if I get them around the right way this time. That's better. 